everyone. I get a lot of questions about what it feels like and what it was like to leave my job. Uh, I decided to do sort of the 10 things that happened to me when I did in fact quit my job. Now, this is not a video to encourage people to do the same thing that I did, but just in case you were wondering what it's like to leave something that you care about dearly to pursue your own passions, I wanted to give you a bit of an idea of what that is like. So if you like this video, please hit the like button below. And if you want to get my video straight to your inbox, please subscribe. And I also would like to know whether you have ever considered leaving your job and why. Let me know in the comment section below. All right, let's get started. Number 10. You might cry a lot. Why am I getting emotional? <laughs> Why am I crying? I do not need to cry, you guys, but not a whole lot, obviously. It's just that you kind of get a little emotional, especially if, like me, you were leaving something that was such a huge part of who you, who I, I was and, and such a big part of my identity that I felt like I was losing a part of me. And so I guess you kind of have to mourn that in some regard. So just so you know, it's going to be an emotional time, but it's good to just get some of that out. It's good to clear that part of you and move on to that next phase, uh, that, that other side of you. So cry could be good sometimes. <laughs> Number nine. You're going to have to explain yourself a lot. Hey, you heard I left in 24? No, I didn't. Why? Yeah, because, I mean, people are constantly asking me questions. You know, but why would you leave a good paying job? Why would you leave a job everybody wants? Why would you take such a big risk? And really and truly, for some people, no answer, no explanation that you give them would ever be enough. It just have to be, has to be enough for you. It's all about your personal situation. So. Don't stress yourself, don't get worried and, and waste time explaining things to people when in actuality it's your vision, it's your dream, it's not for them to understand. But just so you know, that might happen a little bit. Number eight, some people will ghost you. Hi, yes, it's Anika Elliott. You're welcome, you're welcome, it was fun. Listen, I wanted you to know that I've actually left CP24. Hello? 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 And if you don't know what ghost means, essentially they were once in your life and then all of a sudden you make a change and they're no longer in your life. People use this term for dating a lot, but I thought it applies to this situation as well. Um, again, as I said before, you're shedding a part of you. You're losing a part of your identity, somebody who you used to be. And sometimes uh, some people go with that identity and they don't stick around. Um, it's it's kind of an interesting thing it's complex and obviously somebody in my situation where I had a platform to help others if they feel as though you no longer have that platform then why am I why I need you what's the point so you may find that a lot of people have trouble with understanding your vision or don't need you anymore and some people will disappear <laughs> number seven you might put on weight Yeah, fact of the matter is I spent a lot of time sitting down at the desk behind my laptop typing, communicating, social media, all that kind of stuff. And so I'm not moving as much as I would be, uh, you know, I don't have to leave the house as much. The kitchen is right there. So you're going to get up and get a snack every now and again. So you might put on some weight. On the flip side, though, depending on how stressed you get at a time when, you know, you're pursuing your dreams, you might lose a little weight as well. But weight fluctuation, that's something that, um, yeah, you might want to keep in mind if this is something you're thinking about. Number six. But you know what? It's not all doom and gloom. I can tell you that you're going to laugh a lot and you're going to smile a lot. It is such an incredible, self-gratifying, liberating feeling knowing that you have made a decision to take control of your life. And that feeling is going to bring you a lot of joy and a lot of, of, of self-worth. So it's going to feel really good. So expect to smile and laugh a lot. Number five, a lot of people will come forward to help you. I am 
am so, so grateful for the support of, of good friends and also of strangers, especially on social media. Thank you so much for the kind words, the words of motivation, uh, the words of just encouragement. So yes, sometimes it is a little bit um, of an isolating feeling. You do feel alone at times, but just know that people and in some unexpected places as well will come forward to help you. Number four, you will gain a strong sense of pride. You know, trusting in yourself and believing in the possibility of you and what is possible for you and then actually following through on that decision is something that brings with it a whole lot of self-worth and you appreciate yourself so much. It really is like a vote of confidence for you. So even though you may not have all the answers and even though it is still going to be a little bit of a scary time, you gain such a strong sense of who you are and a strong sense of pride, which is so exciting to have. Number three, opportunities will pop up out of nowhere. What is this? Me? That's awesome. Ra very random, but awesome. You know what? Again, I've been so thankful and appreciative of people who have been supporting me. And you will find that when your actions and focus align with what it is you're supposed to be doing, when you have that alignment in terms of what your, your purpose is, or at least taking a step towards that, you're going to find that you attract people who want to help you along the way. And it's just crazy how opportunities will pop up out of nowhere. So uh, again, the universe, as they say, is conspiring to help you achieve your dreams and you're gonna be surprised at the opportunities that uh, do in fact pop up. Number two, you will second guess yourself. Should I have done that? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Um, but now everybody wants to know and I... So yes, this experience has been extremely gratifying and liberating, but there will be times that you still second guess yourself, when you still you know, question whether this was the right decision, particularly when you're at a roadblock or you are feeling overwhelmed or you are dealing with questions from somebody who doesn't understand your vision. Those are the times I find when you second guess yourself the most. But it's so important and something that I do, I remind myself constantly of the reasons that I decided to make this move. I remind myself about the goals that I have and I constantly look at that and, and build up almost like a barrier, like a defense around me and my goals so that any, any negative thoughts that you might produce yourself or other people might impose on you, you can bounce it off because you have such a strong barrier and that comes with just reminding yourself about why it is you decided to do this. Why is it that you decided to pursue your dreams? And number one, you will wonder why the hell you didn't do this sooner. And again, I'm not here to encourage people to leave their jobs or anything like that because you certainly don't need to leave your job to get your life to take control. It's just what was necessary in my case. But I could have done this much sooner. And that's something that I know a lot of people who may be in the same situation would say as well, because life is so short, people. Life is so short that uh, you really, really want to make the best and take advantage of the time that we do have here and live your life. And so that's something that comes up a lot. But, you know, this experience has been worth it. I am worth it. You are worth it.